Hello everyone, I am Mr. Potential, aka Coach P, founder of Paragon Performance Solutions. Welcome to BBP, Buy Black Potential. BBP is a video blog initiative to chronicle my journey as I patronize Black-owned businesses. I have decided to create a platform to spotlight business owners and to share with black consumers the value and opportunities to patronize black-owned businesses. Hopefully, this platform and initiative will shine economic light on these businesses with everyone's support. The goal is, the goal is to build economic value which increases each business's potential for success. If our businesses are successful, then our communities are even more successful. I am Mr. Potential, AKA Coach P. Check out our next BBP Spotlight. Good morning, Buy Black Potential community. We are here at the B and it is Homestead. And we're gonna check out uh, uh, Erica's eggs. Organic or non-GMO non fresh organic eggs. We're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. And I am going to patronize Erica's eggs. Walk out here with some fresh, organic, uh, locally owned, grown um, uh, eggs. So let's check it out. Kind of seeing, seeing you know, positive effort being done, and they just kind of want to help out. Right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like it in the sense of um, like I can't wait until like, hopefully when you if y'all come back, like I, like stuff is growing and it looks mm -hmm. it doesn't just look like mulch on the ground, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah. it looks more flourishing and edible because I right. like I see when I talk to them. Um, the neighbors like they'll say you all out here working and it's like you don't really see the fruits of the effort minus the chickens mm -hmm. but it's a lot going on like if you look under the garden beds you want to see like, yes. like obviously these are and these look that way because we went to visit a farm in Austin last week and he gave us those onion starts. And so I just, plant, cool. I, I just planted those. So there's only been around like three days. Okay. So that's why they're not quite upright yet. Mm -hmm. But these are all onions. But if you like look underneath of this, mm -hmm. it's like nice. Oh, so, the bed. Okay. Yeah. Waiting to be planted. So okay. Like, oh, worm. So this, a, a lot of this, the way that this is set up, it's like a, a protective exactly. covering exactly. for the actual soil that's underneath. Right. Very cool. Yeah, so it looks like nothing, you know, just looks like, oh, she got a, you know, mound of <laughs> stuff. But if you actually look underneath, mm -hmm. it's really rich soil that we're about to start planting in. So cool. Um, Although this weather this year has been real odd, odd. I guess is what I'll say. <laughs> there, so on to the point where I was like thinking in my head like okay I could technically start planting after March 28th but then I was like well we're busy this week because I usually work out here on the weekend so I was like um, we're busy this weekend this weekend so that'll put me about April 15th ish mm -hmm. so I will definitely be not have to I shouldn't have to worry about a frost if I you know right. I'm even free and so even though I'm, I'm itching to plant stuff yeah you know, it is time, it's like, good, old, good old Texas you just never know <laughs> right right great this is awesome. Good. So yeah, I mean, we, we can definitely um, um, look at you know coming back again. Definitely. Um, you know, kind of see your progress and uh, you know see what, what's going on. That'll be really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then that that's thing of a great idea. Just yeah. um, you know, not a real before, but a before and after. Right? Mm hmm Yeah. Like a real before would be when we first got here. <laughs> <laughs> but it, this is still a before and after. Right. right. So you can right. come back one, two months, three months, six months, and see the progress. Yeah. progress. That'll yeah. be awesome. Now, speaking to that, do you have any pictures when you, when you that you want to share that you when first got here? Horrible at us. <laughs> we might can I'm find one. Yeah, no. I think it's his fault because he always says that I'm bad at it. So I'm like... Killing the boy. Right. Yeah. One of my daughters is... 
got her camera just for chronicling and she's not, she's not good at it either. <laughs> we, uh, well, I can't believe that. Phones. You said you have a 14 year old. She probably is glued to her, her celly. <laughs> Get these phones. <laughs> Oh, I mean, most of the time I leave my phone in here. I mean, in yeah, the house. I mean, but when yeah. You, when you're working, it's, it's hard to stop and take a picture. Yeah. yeah. Slow your progress and your roll. Yeah. Like even the day we harvested the, the chickens, we had 50 meat birds, and so we were harvesting chickens. We didn't take not one picture, <laughs> <laughs> and it was perfect. And then after we get in the we get in the car, we're like, we didn't take one. one. <laughs> six in the morning started boxing them to take them to the plant. Yeah. Not one picture. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. You know, how, how would what would you think would be the ideal situation as far as investors, your money, or government money, or a mixture of it, to be able to maybe uh, have the resources to have maybe you know, other people help help you with this? Helping others because you can always use help, um, but I just saw a model where I could pretty much do this whole land with garden beds solo. Wow. Like, so, yeah. With, yeah, with the system set up in place, like, and right. that's other. That's the benefit of visiting different farms is that you see different people's techniques, or what have you. And so, like, technically, if this was all garden beds, and I had um, system set up in place, then it wouldn't be as hard. You know, so if it's not. So if it's garden, then it's definitely not. It's a different system. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how you see. Like, even though I don't do commercial farming, like monocrop farming, but that's how you see one family still being able to have like. Mm, a system. Have, yeah, they system. have systems in place. And so, gotcha. and that's the thing. Like, and that's what he was saying. Once the systems are in place, it's not, it's not as hard. Hey, it's me again, Mr. Potential, saying thanks for watching another BBP Spotlight. Go ahead, leave your comments, subscribe to our blog and other social media sites. Don't miss our next. BBP Spotlight with me, Coach Pete.